my dad would take me to JPL when I was little. They had the open houses there. And that was really nice just because I got to see um, that perspective. I remember there was a time when I went to JPL and there was actually a female engineer working there. And I said, wow, like, if she can do that, then, then why can't I? So that, that really helped me see that, you know, you know I could work at NASA someday. I, she's doing it, why can't I? 870, right turn, and work east. My name is Steffi Valkov, and I am a flight operations engineer at NASA. Comics 256. 870, IP inbound 9,500. My background is in aerospace engineering. I got my bachelor's at Cal Poly Pomona, and um, I always really wanted to work at NASA. So as a flight operations engineer, um, what I do is I am part of a team that organizes um, flight tests. So my project is called UAS Integration in the NAS. The goal of uh, UAS in the NAS, it's in the name, is to safely integrate unmanned aerial systems into the national airspace. So what that means is that UAVs like Ikana can fly with other commercial airlines and smaller aircraft. So we're, what we're doing during this type of testing is having a Kana fly against a piloted aircraft. And what we will call these piloted aircraft is a intruder or manned intruder because there is an actual pilot on board. A Kana would fly in, within close proximity of the intruder aircraft, a certain lateral separation and vertical separation. And once they would get close, there would be sensors would be able to pick up the intruder. Um, these are sensors on board Ikana, and we would actually be able to see those um, alerts on the displays. So that the pilot, remotely, remote pilot that's on the ground looking at the display can say, okay, there, I have an intruder uh, to my left, so I have to turn right, for example. So the reason we're doing this is so that one day when remotely piloted vehicles are flying more in the national airspace, different types of intruders, as we call them, more safely. So one of the main functions that I have on my project is that I am in charge of putting together an operations working group. Ted, I have your um, cards up if you want to start going through them. So different concerns that we look at during these meetings is how we can most safely fly a Kana against a piloted intruder. So if you look at how close we fly during our tests, we actually brought down the vertical separation down to 200 feet with 0.4 nautical miles lateral separation. Now this was really important because we would discuss with the pilots, you know, do you feel comfortable with this? Do you feel safe? Would you be able to acquire visual uh, before a certain distance before the intercept point? So this is really critical to make sure that everybody's comfortable with what we're flying because we are flying something that's considered a little bit riskier. But that's why we're doing it. That's why we have the technology there, we have the displays there, we're looking at all that and we're testing it in a safe environment. When I'm outside of work, I like to do what's called a barbershop quartet. And I'm actually in an all-female group. And three of the four members actually work here at NASA Armstrong. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. A lot of times we like to sing at work events. So if there's like a big event going on and they need us to sing the national anthem, for example, uh, we get together, we practice, we do it in the barbershop style, and then we go and we sing together and we perform. Another thing that I really like to do is spend time with my little sister, Lynn, and she's also a singer, so when I get a chance to sing with her, it's really wonderful, and it gives me a chance to connect with her in that way that I think is, is really special. Beautiful morning, isn't it? <laughs> <Stays> <laughs> Working at NASA has definitely been rewarding. This kind of research is paving the road for what we're going to be flying one day and, and how things will be in the future. So it's, it's been really great and it does give me a good feeling at the end of the day, you know. You work and you, you think like, oh, I have to do this, I have to do this, uh, I have, you know, a meeting tomorrow that I have to get through. but. In the end, it's really all worth it. When you sit back and you look at the saying, like, wow, like I'm actually doing this. I'm actually a part of this. It, it, it feels really good to know that I am.